GCSE Physics Paper 1 is tomorrow and if you want to do well you need to know these key definitions for AQA. Now they start off easier and get harder and if you do combine science you do not need to know number 6 or 7 related to nuclear fission and fusion. So pause the video, grab a piece of paper, see how many of these you know off the top of your head. Okay, first one, conservation of energy means energy cannot be created or destroyed in a closed system. Closed system means no energy gets in or out. You could say energy is total energy is constant. That's also fine. Electric current, you need to know, it's the rate of flow of electric charge. Rate means divide by time. So if you ever get stuck for this question, you can use the equation I current equals Q charge divided by time to help you remember it. For power, you need to know it's the rate of energy transferred. That word rate there again just means energy per second. Use the equation in the equation sheet to help you if you get stuck. Internal energy means uh, the particles of a substance have both kinetic and potential energy. So for to find the internal energy, you have to do the sum of the kinetic and potential energy of those particles. Kinetic energy is movement, potential energy is how far apart they are. Half-life, this is usually two marks if it comes up, is the time taken for the number of nuclei in a sample to decrease by half. It could also be for the activity or the count rate to decrease by half. Nuclear fission, and this will be a two or a three marker, so a little bit longer definition here. For nuclear fission, what happens when a large nucleus, like uranium, absorbs a neutron and splits into two smaller nuclei, releasing both neutrons and energy. Sometimes the mark scheme demands you say energy in the form of gamma rays. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, is two particles joining. Now, they're not just particles, they are light or small nuclei that join together to make a larger nucleus, and they convert some of their mass into energy. The example here would be hydrogen. Contamination and irradiation, two definitions that come up a lot uh, you need to know. So contamination means that uh, a radioactive source is present inside a person or inside an object uh, like contaminated water. Irradiation means the person is exposed to radiation. So contamination is usually worse in terms of danger or hazard to the person. Uh, latent heat. Latent heat is the energy needed uh, for one kilogram of a substance to change state. That could be latent heat of vaporization to go from solid to uh, sort of go from liquid to gas, or latent heat of fusion to go from solid to liquid. And the last one, specific heat capacity, um, would be the energy needed for one, to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance to rise by one degrees Celsius. So, how many did you get right? If you didn't get them all, make sure you revise them and let me know in the comments if you think there's any additional definitions um, that you would definitely need to know for paper one.